Season 4, Volume 2 was recently released, and it gave us an answer to the question that we've always had. What is the Mind Flayer? And since Volume 1, how is it connected to Vecna? Well, I'm going to break down the information that we had in the show, and explain the origin of this infamous villain that's been wreaking havoc on Hawkins in the past few years. So let's get into it. Here is the origin of the Mind Flayer explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The Mind Flayer has been the main antagonist of the Upside Down for the entirety of Stranger Things. We were led to believe that it was the ruler of the world below, and was the one that was wreaking havoc on the entirety of Hawkins, with the intention of flaying everybody that it came across, so that it could carry out its mission of opening gateways and allowing the two worlds to be merged as one. We saw multiple people get used as hosts over the years. We witnessed Will get used early on in the show, where a way to try and get him out of the state that he was in was to tap into him and remind him of his happy memories, a hint to what we saw in this season with music and happy memories being a weakness of Vecna's, and we also witnessed Billy being used as a host in Season 3 of the show, before succumbing to the Spider Monster, a form that the Mind Flayer took on in the Season 3 finale. However, in Season 4, Volume 2 of the show, we saw just how the Mind Flayer came to be and its true identity. It turned out that it was in fact Vecna who created the Flayer and had been causing all of the trouble that we'd seen occur from when the show started way back in Season 1. We saw that once Eleven sent Henry to the Upside Down, and opened that first gate, she sent him to a world that although garnished in darkness, was a world that had no ruler, and was nothing like the Upside Down that we've come to know and understand. We saw a lone Demogorgon roaming the world, which meant that they were also inhabiting the area at the time. It looked like a barren wasteland that had no form of hive mind that existed. We witnessed Vecna stumble across the darkness that existed, and the particles in the sky, and as he stated himself, he saw something that would change everything and a means to realize his potential and transcend his human form. He harnessed the darkness that previously existed in the Upside Down and utilized it to create the Mind Flayer in the Shadow Monster form. We had previously seen as well that Vecna had even drawn the Shadow Monster when he was a mere boy when Henry Creel was obsessed with spiders. He'd always viewed spiders as the superior predator and the creature that he related to the most. Thus, why all carnations of the Flayer that we've seen over the years whether that be the Shadow Monster or the Spider Monster, it's always been depicted as that kind of creature, because Henry Creel, Vecna, believed they were the superior predator, and if he wanted to transcend his human form, then there's no reason as to why he wouldn't choose for it to be depicted as the terrifying creature that he related to the most. This revelation showed us that the Mind Flayer wasn't in fact the main villain in the show. It was a creation of who we now know is the main villain of the show, Vecna, when Vecna used the darkness of the Upside Down to his advantage, it was the missing piece to what he'd needed all along. Once he created the Flayer, it also created the high functionality, allowing everything to be connected in the Upside Down, and for Vecna to then be in control of the Demogorgons, Demodogs, Demobats, and also the Flayer, getting them to carry out his work whilst he stayed put in the Upside Down. By controlling the darkness that already existed, and by utilizing his pre-existing powers, it allowed him to transcend his human form and become one with the very world that he'd now inhabited and was shaping it to how he wanted it to be. He was no longer just Vecna. He was the Upside Down and was in control of everything. Vecna was not in fact the five-star general of the Upside Down, carrying out the Mind Flayer's work. The Mind Flayer was essentially another form of Vecna, being in control by harnessing the darkness that pre-existed prior to his arrival in the Upside Down. Everything in the Upside Down is controlled by Vecna, and due to the hive-like mind that the Upside Down holds, Vecna essentially is and is in control of everything, including the Mind Flayer. So, there you have it, the origin of the Mind Flayer explained. If you want to see more videos on Stranger Things such as Volume 1 and Volume 2 ending explained, theories and predictions, or character breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all there. If you want to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review next, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What did you think of Season 4 Volume 2? Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.